I define beauty through connection. Being indigenous, it's important to be seen so that way people know that we're still here. We hold a lot of significance in the environment that we come from and that makes us connected. How Renawawiat Indigenous class, Shkodeni Bodwadamin Dao, Mina, Anglo American Dochbia, Mehera Kansas, Ejidayan. I am a competitive all around dancer, and my primary style is women's fancy shawl. I hold my arms up and I, I swoop it back and forth, and I do lots of spinning, and there's a lot of footwork. Women's fancy can be very painful. I have permanent ankle damage from all of the dancing that I've done because everything is on your toes. But whenever I dance, I feel very connected and in tune to who I am and who I come from. I feel most beautiful when I'm in my, my powwow outfits. It feels really special when I'm dressed this way and when I dance this way. It's just a fun experience to go into Sephora and have them look at my outfits and help me pick what colors might make my outfit pop. There's just so many ways that you can express yourself. I dance better whenever my skin is clean and moisturized and whenever I've got some clean and tight braids. If you look good, you feel good, and if you feel good, you do good. I really like to sew and I like to bead. Whenever I would bead, I'd pick the wrong bead, or whenever I'd go pick a thread, I'd pick the wrong color thread. We went to the optometrist and they did the circle colors with me and they're like, well, she's colorblind. She's got a red green deficiency and a purple orange deficiency. And it was really tough growing up trying to match colors. Being a colorblind woman, it can be tricky matching eyeshadows and foundations and lipsticks and Sephora makes it really easy when they have their skin scanners to help me find the right foundation for me. And all of the beauty advisors, they create a really enjoyable experience and the way that they conduct their service is very professional. We grew up right across from the reservation and I started dancing around age four locally. I grew up going to powwows with my family and you know, my dad, he used to dance when he was younger, but he had a house fire and he was an all around dancer just like I was. But that house fire, it burned all of his outfits. So he just quit dancing. And my mom, she started to dance, but then she was diagnosed with degeneration of her lower spine. And so she can't dance anymore. And that was a lot for our family to process, but I consider her my backbone and I dance for her. Let me tell you, we, we live to dance. When I'm dancing, everything stops for a second. I think about all of those before me, all of those after me. I feel like I'm at the, the right place at the right time and I'm exactly where I need to be. We say chiwanmo, I'm happy. I'm happy when I dance.